sorry we're a little late this week on Lesson of the Week. I uh, had my normal first Wednesday of the month gig yesterday, which kind of took up the whole day. And um, also today had kind of an unusual um, scheduled practice um, in the afternoon. So, uh, And I've got some more students to get to. So today the lesson is going to be short, to the point, I'm talking about hybrid picking. If you've never heard of this concept before, it's simply using a pick as well as a finger on the right hand. Um, typically the middle finger, but a lot of times using the ring finger as well. Um, so today we're going to take a look at, uh, at a riff like that. You, 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 you're probably familiar with the sound. That good old Billy Gibbons ZZ Top kind of thing um, used with hybrid picking. Um, one, of the things that, uh, one of the things you can do with hybrid picking, uh, you can use it to substitute for an upstroke of the pick, uh, kind of adding uh, a little bit more efficiency to your picking sometimes. Uh, it also gives a little bit different tonal quality or a different attack on the string that you don't get with a pick. Um, for example, when you're playing in a blues riff, you get this nice little pop of the uh, of that uh, that middle finger actually doing the picking. So a cool little pop um, uh, to the string, uh, a, and, and again a different tone quality. You're not getting the kind of the sharpness of the pick. Um, a lot of times when you use it, you get kind of that fleshy, uh, soft touch. Um, when you want to use that as well. So, here's a quick little riff uh, to get you started with hybrid picking. Uh, it's a short one. You can you can add to it as much as you want to. Or, you know, write your own. That's the point of this, right? So here it is. Told you it was short. <laughs> you can even add to it. just by doing the same exact thing but an octave lower. Uh, so let me show you real quickly um, kind of the dynamics of the riff um, and then you can give it a shot. We're actually going to start with a finger pluck uh, on the 8th fret of your B string. That's an A. We're going to pick down on E, slide down to D, and then pull off to C. And then pick on D, pull off back to C. So it's like this. Then you're going to pick A on your D string, that's your 7th fret. And then using your, uh, your middle finger, uh, you're going to pluck the C again. Then you're going to hit G, it's your 5th fret of your D string. And then with your middle finger, once again, you're going to pluck C, but hammer on to a C sharp. It's going from a minor 3rd to a major 3rd. And then pick down, finishing on A. So here it is real slow. There, I did it right the second time. All right, so there's a little bit about hybrid picking, just a real quick introduction to it. Uh, give it a shot. Maybe even try using that ring finger in there, but eh, middle finger will do for now. Um, you also, you'll, you'll start getting a nice little blister right there in your finger the more you use it, and getting calluses uh, on, this, on this hand is great anyway, you know, not only for hybrid picking, but later on for tapping and things like that. So give hybrid picking a shot. Uh, you might find it a very useful technique. So, see you next week.